There's never a dull moment. Detention officers at the Bear County Jail have to constantly be on guard. Do you understand? This is the 16th largest jail in the nation, and Sheriff Susan Pomerleau campaigned on cleaning it up. It's not a good place to be in. Like many of the women behind bars, Angela Muniz thinks about her family to get through the day. Do you have kids? Yes, I have four. What are their ages? 16, 15, and 14. To see how Sheriff Pomelo's changes are affecting women like Muniz, we spent the night with them in jail. Once you go through these doors, Grace, you still have your civil rights, but your freedoms aren't going to be what they were outside these doors. Our day started out in booking. When I remove your couch, you're going to place one hand on the wall. Do you understand? And we quickly saw how busy things can get. A fight breaks out in a holding cell, but CERD, which stands for Special Emergency Response Team, comes quickly to break it up. So this place is constantly going 24-7. Constantly. It's a 24-7 operation, and the function that these officers provide is probably one of the most important functions in the facility. Everyone goes through health and mental screenings and their checks for gang affiliations. Do you have any tattoos on your, on your body? Don't show me, I just need to uh, free the tongue. And that all? Okay. Next, it's time for fingerprints. Just relax, I'll do all the work. Okay, relax. And then there's my mug shot. Sign your name, pull your picture. Okay. I'm then transported to the women's unit and given the full inmate uniform. There, my fellow inmates add a little something extra. Braiding hair passes the time, and there's plenty of it. As I talk to inmates and detention officers throughout the night, we hear about one of their biggest challenges. When you have to have the right amount of people taking care of the, the inmates. For the past three years, jail administrators say they've been understaffed, forcing officers to work overtime, sometimes even 16 hours straight. And when you're the only officer in a unit like mine with 50 inmates, overtime is added stress. This is a great concern of the safety and security first and foremost. The overtime was costing taxpayers around $100,000 a week. The new administration says they've cut that in half by recruiting more officers. Inmates have noticed other changes. The uniforms, they've taken with the t-shirts. When I first started coming here, we used to get two sheets. Now we get one. The administration says those are security and cost-saving measures, too. The biggest change that the sheriff has brought is, uh, is a focus on efficiency. And after dinner, I got a full taste of that, mopping the floors before we had to sleep. So this is where I am, it's Unit 3B, and this is my bed, number 45. I've got the bottom bunk here and some people helped me make it, and so this is basically home for the night. While I slept on the men's side, there was a midnight search for contraband. The jail CERD team found inmates hoarding extra stationary supplies, which they say can become a safety hazard. In the morning, we're up to do more chores and then breakfast. For me, I know I'm going home. For these women, they face the reality of not knowing when their last day will come. But it's hard. Muniz may be behind bars, but her heart is still at home with her kids. Yeah, and then I'm just thinking if they're okay, are they eating, who they're with, are they at school, are they going to school. And no matter what changes Sheriff Pomerlo makes. But it'll be the last time I'll be here. The women here say they don't ever want to come back. Tomorrow on Fox News at 9, we'll sit down with the new sheriff to talk about our night in jail and the changes she's making there. Also hear from her on what it's like to be a woman in the top spot. Grace White, Fox News at 9. Walk through the jail with newly elected Sheriff Susan Pomerlo, and you'll find she's very comfortable in her shoes. So how are you guys? So just just tell me, what are you in here for? What is it? Possession? Not only is she the first female elected sheriff in Bear County. Um, make sure that we've got the number of people. She also doesn't have a background in law enforcement. But, were... but that doesn't stop her from walking into one of the most dangerous parts of the jail, where the inmates are ex-gang members. What my focus has always been 
is I focus on the mission. What's the job that I have to do? Because if I look at that through a, a net or a veil of I'm a woman, then that distracts me from what the primary job is. Pomerleau has made it her job to clean up the jail, where she says taxpayer money was being wasted. Why are we spending so much money on overtime? Pomerleau says it costs taxpayers $100,000 a week to pay detention officers for what sometimes turned out to be double shifts. Oh, it just breaks down people. It's stress on the individuals. When someone works in this kind of environment, and you yourself experience that on spending time in the jail, to see they're always on guard. The detention officers, they're with a unit that has up to 50 or more people in it. Pomerleau says officers started to walk away. In the last two years, she says they were losing 13 people a month. She claims since taking office, that number has been reduced to nine. Pomerleau credits that to cutting overtime in half and recruiting more officers. We're running a more efficient operation. We're trying to uh, do more with the staff that we have, and these guys um, are motivated. The morale is at an all-time high. The latest jail inspection shows improvement. There were no major discrepancies reported. I saw some of the comments. They were saying that this used to be a jail they would dread coming to. Mm -hmm. And I'm pleased that it's not any longer. But Pomerlo knows there's more work to do. She is still yet to hire a jail administrator, a position for which she is conducting a nationwide search. The sheriff says she's received more than 70 applications for the jail administrator position. They've narrowed it down to a few people and they're conducting interviews this week. Grace White, Fox News at 9.